What's going on folks? Today I'm going to do a quick review of my Panda Pan 6320W washer unit. And uh, here it is in my kitchen. I did purchase this off Amazon and uh, for the most part it's done its job pretty well. Here is the unit by itself and then I did buy the recommended little uh, dolly down there. It makes it moving a lot easier. Now this unit does have some small wheels but I found that it was pretty difficult to move this thing by itself, even with those little wheels. So this uh, added tray really does help. Now on the unit, we do have this clear orange film here. When you do have the unit on and you open this up, it will beep at you. You do have the hose right here to dispense the water. And then here's the connection for the sink. Hooking up the washer is pretty easy. You do have your plug back here. So you gotta just plug that in. And then the uh, washer does come with this kit that goes to your sink. I chose my kitchen sink as it fits the best. And then here is the nozzle. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. You would just simply go like that, bring it up, and then you just turn the water on, hot or cold. And then that is pretty much it in a nutshell. Let's go ahead and connect the unit and go over through uh, some of the menus. Now the, uh, the Panda does come with a manual. So uh, me, I've had this unit for about a year, so I've kind of memorized everything here, but I'll just go ahead and give you a quick crash course. The power button's right there. And then the water levels here, you would just press that for the different water levels, number five being the fullest. And then you have your codes right here, AA soak, BB wash, CC rinse, DD spin. And then the program right here, which correlates with this on the right hand side. So I'm, I normally use a normal quick wash, a soaking wash for anything that may need a little bit of soaking. And then if I'm just gonna, you know, rinse a shirt or something like that, I'll just do a quick, uh, the quick wash. And then sometimes if something's a little, uh, a little too wet, like a towel or something like that, you just go with spin or uh, rinse and spin just to kind of get it a little bit more drier. Looking inside the unit, you do have this filter here. There's probably gonna be some lint here for use catches anything during the spin mode I'm trying to do this with one hand folks so uh right there yeah i got a little bit of lint in there slides back in like that now you can use uh fabric softeners with this little uh these little holes right here you just simply get your fabric softener pour it in there during the rinse mode and it just does its job Okay, so now I'm gonna do a quick load of laundry. I got a couple of towels in here and uh, some t-shirts. So I'm just tossing them in here. The uh, manual says not to overload it too much. So we're just kind of gently tossing everything in there. That should be good enough. So next step, we're gonna get some detergent and turn this bad boy on. Okay, so I got a load of laundry in here. We got the detergent, the sink is on, so there's gonna be a couple of loud beeps so i do apologize in advance let's go ahead and get to it so level five and then i'm just gonna do a normal wash so then program and then play or start water's gonna pour in there once it uh, gets to the certain level it'll do its thing and of course if you open this up it'll beep it's gonna be a little obnoxious here we go and you just close that in there and i'll get right back to it there you go and of course you see the code BB wash. So that's kind of how you determine where the, uh, the cycle is for the, uh, for the washer there. Now that the Panda is full of water, it's continuing the wash phase. So here we go, spinning around the clothes. It's uh, not too loud, relatively quiet. Doesn't move around too much. All right. Okay, we are in the spin phase now. So it's relatively quiet, nothing too crazy. And uh, that's perfect. So even with the uh, tray down there, the wheels are not locked and it, it doesn't move around or anything like that. So that's a good thing. All right, folks, and that is it. The laundry is done. The clothes are still gonna be a little damp. It's not a heated dryer, obviously. So uh, I do recommend hanging them up. I will include a link down below where you can buy such uh, tables that go right by the windows so you can dry your clothes properly if you're not wanting to toss them to the dryer. And I do have one recommendation for uh, this hook right here. It's supposed to hang on the lip of your sink. For whatever reason, my uh, lip was uh, either too big or too small and uh, the hose would slide around. So 
once in a while it would actually slide around and hop over the sink and dump onto the floor. I had to buy these Velcro straps and since then I've not had that problem. Overall, my review on this Panda Pan 6320W, after having it for, uh, for about a year, it's great. I mean, I no longer have to go downstairs uh, to the laundromat and mess with the washer dryer, especially during you know winter and hot summers. I can just do everything from the uh, comfort of my apartment and I recommend it. So uh, if you guys are interested, check the link in the description down below and uh, thanks for watching.